so satisfied I'm on my way Fishing on good people turn their heads each day so satisfied I'm on my way Today she's rockin' and shaving with Gonzo going blind. Coming at you today with some black bear shaving soap from the Beaver Woodrat Company. Mr. Kelly Hogan. This one's gonna be two bits. Two bits of uh, very just kinda clean, clean scent. Not a lot picking up note wise. But we're gonna give it a give it a whirl. We also got the matching aftershave balm, I believe it is. Two bits and a nice little pump in that. So we're gonna give that a try too. And then when I'm all done, I'm gonna hit kind of around my shoulders and that with some Alfin from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This way I have that scent to last all day too. So, gonna make some little cents, baby. Two cents, three cents, four cents, five. Uh, what else am I using today? I'm gonna use the Alan Briar. Or <laughs> Alan Boyd Fryer the Briar. Sorry about that, Alan. Custom brush, synthetic. And we're using a Wayne Butcher. Big old Wayne Butcher. Getting ready here, sorry. My towel was not ready, so I gotta fold her and get her ready. Because I got not a big water, wipe my blade off with water or wash it down with water. So that's just me. Hey, you want to take the risk of uh, dinging your blade, go for it. That's a risk I don't want to take. So it's hard enough keeping a good edge going across this. Um, steel wool of a beard of mine. I just wet the tips of this brush and now I'm just uh, getting some product in the brush. When love Get my own face wet a little bit here. I did put on some pre earlier before I strop. my favorite part of the song. <laughs> I can't recall who asked this question, but question about long strokes or short strokes being better for getting a better shave. The long strokes are just better for avoiding cuts doesn't mean you're going to get better or worse doing shorter or longer. You do what works for you, man. That's what I do. 
you stretch some, you pull some, you turn your face some. Lather is really well. Slickness is good. So I guess on scales of one to five, slickness I give it a, a four. Push it, three and a half. Scent's really, my opinion, really low. So if you have problem with scents and that, and you just like a lot of uh, nice, good lather, this would be a good one. This one's called Two Bits. Yes is actually really fun, creative band, so if you never really checked out some of their old stuff, man, you gotta check out some of their old stuff, because they were some great musical geniuses. Uh, I can't remember the guy's name, the keyboardist, but I believe he builds his own keyboards. And I think that's pretty cool. A little more water. Time to rock the shit again. Rockin'! Pretty cool guitar work here.
So tell me the best feedback I can give you on this is awesome performance, great face feel, on your face feel. Um, sounds a little weak. So you can pump up pump up the scent profile a little bit. I can't really even nail what scent it really is. But uh great product, Kelly. touch up there. I'm gonna get this pump going so there we go. Got a little bit of got a little bit of product there. On the face feel great. Um, kind of just has the Almost like a good skin toner or a good skin cream smell to it again. So maybe that's what it's going for. I don't know for sure. But um, not a bad thing. And once again, that was sorry. I didn't do very good there. That's the two bits aftershave from Beaver Woodright. And we are going to hit a little bit of the classic outfit. And this I'm not putting on my face, I'm just putting this on. down there just so I get the scent. I smell that a good chunk all the day. So please check out um, Beaver Woodwright products online. I think it's beaverwoodwright.com and Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements.com. And enjoy your shave. She enjoy the goods and uh, what what others can do to to maybe get a better performance out of a product. Make those suggestions and recommendations. Love you all. Take care. Have a great day. Gonzo's out.